Welcome back, all you beautiful people. You are still keeping it locked right here to your Feel Good Breakfast Show on SABC3. Now, with a toddler and a beautiful newborn baby, you can see we are swooning. Express a presenter and our favorite Safton nominee, Graham Richards, my bestie, seems to have his hands full, uh, full during this lockdown. Now, let's check in with our G-man to find out how he is navigating fatherhood a second time around and Very how little Jack that. feels about the new addition to the family. Good morning, G. Good morning, you beautiful thing. How's it going? I miss you so, so much. But you look good. Uh, yeah, I'm sleep has been in, in short supply, but I'm um, feeling, feeling fantastic, feeling very blessed at the moment. Just um, yeah, absolutely loving, loving every second. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I've got a very full and busy household around me. Everyone's just working up. So it's just, if the little ones pop their heads in, just to excuse it. <laughs> I can imagine there must be a bit of chaos on your side, but it's been one week and one day. How has it been? Give us a bit of an update. How is baby Georgia doing? Oh, she's just so lovely. She is so sweet. Um, I think she might be waking up, so I'll see if I can bring her in in, in, in a second. But she's, she is the cutest, sweetest, tiniest little thing. She is so small. Nothing, nothing fits her. All the newborn stuff is, like, massive on her. But she's, and she's really cuddly. She just wants to cuddle in and be held. Um, she's just the sweetest, cutest little thing. Hasn't quite found her cry yet. Um, I see Lindsay just brought her down now, so I'll grab her in a sec. But she's... She's lovely. She's absolutely no bother. Feeding kind of every three and a half, three, three and a half hours. So our sleep cycles are kind of moving like that. But she's been an absolute joy. She is so sweet. So, so cute. My ovaries, what are you doing right now? But how much has your, your, your and Lindsay's uh, daily routine changed with uh, little Georgia now? Are you taking turns on nappy changing duty, Daddy? Um, oh, of course. There you go. Do not, do not. Let me see. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word! Lift her up a bit. I can't. Look. <gasps> Daddy, she is good. Hello, Georgia. It's your favorite auntie. Hi, Georgia. Cat. Oh, oh my. Oh, she, she is, is so sweet. She very is much awake so right beautiful. <laughs> how do? How so, yeah, so I'll. Our lives are revolving around this little one. It's um, kind of uh, Lynn's is obviously doing the, the lion's share of the of the feeding, and it's been fantastic finding a rhythm there. There's Hello, Lynn. Lynn. How are you? How do you look like that? Just a week after giving birth, glow up, looking fresh to death. Mama, you're looking yeah, fly. The body is not looking great. So <laughs> How how are you two finding it now with little Jack and then having uh, the, the the second one Georgia? Are you are you coping? Is is G hands on at the moment? He is. Do you know what? It is such a blessing having him here. And um, you you know you forget um, you know that Jack he, he's a really good boy and he can play and keep himself occupied, but they do want your full attention as well. And you don't want to leave him out, you know. So everything yeah. we do now with Georgia, we include Jack. And he loves it. He kisses her. He gives her a bottle. And it's actually the sweetest thing to see. I um, promise after yeah. lockdown, I'm going yeah. to be the babysitter. But let's talk about Jack, though. <laughs> or is, is he, like, taking it on full big brother role full on? Or is he a bit, like, shy with her? Um, he's absolutely besotted with her. He's been so sweet. I'm going to actually hand this little one over. Here we go. See you, Georgia. Oh, man, she's so lovely. Um, he's been wonderful. I think he's, he's a little bit besotted with her. Um, but I, I think all the work that we did beforehand, kind of getting him used to the idea, um, really has helped. He's just kind of carried on regardless. He's very, very affectionate with her and is very responsible with her for his, his age. And, I mean, he's, he's still a three-year-old, and, you know, I think he, he will let us know when he's feeling like he needs a bit more attention. But he's been been awesome. I'm, uh, I'm actually just amazed. Like, even the dogs, I think, think that she is their baby. So everyone's just <laughs> adopted her. Um, so we've got this, like, whenever wherever Georgia is, you've got both dogs, Jack and myself in tow, and we kind of just move around the house. But, yeah, so far, so good. Everyone's really, really um, adapted well. Where is Jack? Because we had the whole family's Jack around. 
Oh, he's sitting right next to his, his little sister. Come here, boy. Does he have clothes on? Because we know sometimes Jack, Jack is just like, free the clothes. A, yeah, no, he's going to be a three-year-old and run around like a madman and watch animal animals. Uh, but no, he's been a, he's been a good boy. And I mean, sleep-wise, that's probably been the biggest challenge is trying to kind of mm. figure out how and when to get the little bits of sleep in between. Um, but he's been a good boy and she's been, been really, really manageable in that sense. Uh, I think it was really nice to be home. The hospital was a bit... But freaky. Um, you know, we had to be in really close um, quarters there, and I think the restrictions have gotten even stiffer since we've left. So I think our timing was just perfect. Um, it's so nice to be back home now and in our space. And yeah. um, you know, as much as we're in isolation, I think we probably would have been in a bit of isolation anyway in our little baby bubble. So it's worked out well. Well, listen, we miss you so much, Jeeva. We know that you are taking uh, care of things at home with little Georgia and Jack and Lindsay, but we wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you back on our screens very soon. Oh, man, it's been so good to hear your voice, to see everyone in the background. It's that team man in the background. I love you, <laughs> Everyone's like, we love you, G. I love you guys. So just stay safe and well done for the work that you guys are doing. I think everyone who has remained in active service as part of an essential service deserves a massive, massive pat on the back. And just to all of the hospital staff that helped us as well, everyone that's working in that space, especially in the medical space, thank you so much for the work that we're doing. We love you guys. Love, you. love you too. You know who also misses him? The kitchen. The kitchen misses him. <laughs>